click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. When we speak about machine R rate method, we know that we require certain categories or certain details about any kind of depreciation whenever this specific method is supposed to be used. Like the total hours the machine can be run or the machine can be used over its useful life. The pattern of segregation of these hours over the above years, that means the useful years. So first to three years, then after that few years, then after that few years, according to that the segregation of these years with the hours per year is supposed to be required and the original cost minus scrap value is supposed to be required. So once you have all these details with you, you can further go ahead with the depreciation calculation. Now, what you further need to understand is that the segregation pattern will be dependent on the base of the year category. That means how the year has been segregated. It has been segregated between one to three years or between one to five years. According to that, you'll be able to know what is the per year depreciation on it. Now, when you talk about depreciation, we also need to understand that original cost minus scrap value. That means the return value is required here to understand how depreciation is supposed to be calculated. So let's go ahead with the illustration further mentioned and you will be able to gauge or rather understand how under this method we can calculate depreciation for your usage. Let's go ahead with it. <music> The question states that the machine was purchased for rupees 3 lakhs. That means there was a machine where the amount spent on procurement of this specific machine was considered as 3 lakhs. The estimated working hours have been mentioned as 24,000. That means over its useful life, we have estimated working hours mentioned as 24,000 here. Scrap value has been estimated as 20,000. That means we have the original cost here. The scrap value at the end of its useful hours, which is mentioned as 20,000. The effective pattern of hours distribution has been mentioned below. Let's go through it first. So for the first three years, that means one to three year, there has been a certain R per year reduction that they have mentioned. Let's understand that. So for the first three years, they have mentioned that it will be worked or it will be used as 3000 hours per year. That means every year the usage of this machine will be 3000 hours. So 3000 for the first year, 3000 for the second year and 3000 for the third year. Hence, this will be used for calculation of depreciation. We'll understand how do we use it when we start solving the question. But for the first three years, this is the pattern. Now let's go ahead with the next year's pattern. That means next few years pattern. For the fourth and the sixth year, that means four, five, six. This will be calculated on the basis of 2,600 hours per year. That means 2,600 hours will be per year our depreciation or rather we can say this many hours will be used every year for this specific machine this is how they have segregated it for the fourth and the sixth year so the difference between fourth fifth and sixth years will be calculated as per this thing let's go ahead and figure out what do we have for the next few years Between 7 to 10 years, that means 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th, they have mentioned it as 1800 hours per year. That means depreciation or rather the usage of this specific machine will be 1800 hours for these many years from 7th year to 10th year. Now that we know that all these effective patterns has been mentioned here, we need to calculate depreciation on per yearly basis further going through using the formula that we have understood in the previous video. Now, there is few more detail that has been mentioned here. Let's highlight that. We have to calculate depreciation additionally for the fifth year and the book value of that specific machine at the end of the fifth year. That means the depreciation has to be calculated especially for the fifth year. We have to calculate depreciation for all the years though. However, apart from that, we have to calculate the book value of that specific machine at the end of the fifth year and that is after subtracting the depreciation for the fifth year. So this is the illustration that has been mentioned. We'll further go ahead with three step process that means working note, timelines and then solving the whole illustration. Let's go ahead with it. Let's go ahead with the timeline first.
So as you can see that we have jotted down few of the details of the questions which were really important. That means the cost, scrap value, useful hours, year pattern and the question that it relates to 50 years depreciation and the book value after subtracting the depreciation. We'll then go ahead with the working note and understand how per year depreciation is calculated as per this specific format that has been provided to us. Let's do it. So if you can see we have done the calculation for the first three years that means we will be doing calculation according to the year pattern so that you can understand every year calculation how it is done. We have done the year calculation for the first three years. So what we have done is that we have segregated the page into two parts year and calculation for first three years that means one two and three year the segregation that was given here was 3000 hours per year. Now how do we calculate so the calculation formula goes like this original cost minus scrap value multiplied by total years or total hours that it will be working between that segregation pattern upon useful hours. That means original cost minus scrap value gives you the written down value. That amount will be multiplied by for that specific year how many hours it is going to work per year that will be the numerator divided by the total useful hours. I'll highlight it. So if you can see in this question we had original cost which is 3 lakhs minus scrap value which is 20,000. That will be divided by 24,000 which is the useful hours and that will be multiplied by the total hours per year it is going to work between this segregation pattern that is 3,000 as per this category. So 1, 2, 3 years it was supposed to go for 3,000 per year. So 3 lakh minus 20,000 gives you 2 lakh 80,000 which will be multiplied by total number of hours it will be work or it will be used for that specific year or category first to three years it will be used for 3000 hours per year divided by 24,000 which is the useful life of that specific machine. So 3000 upon 24,000 gives you a value of 0 0.125 which will be multiplied by 2 lakh 80,000. So the final output that you get here is 35,000 per year depreciation. That means for the first year, 35,000, second year, 35,000 and third year, 35,000. So this will be the depreciation that will be calculated. Make sure you highlight this so that that will be useful for you to understand how to go ahead with the total depreciation amount. So this is for the calculation that we have done for the first three years. Let's do the similar calculation for the next three years or so the next category of years that we have in the question mentioned. Let's go ahead. If you can see we have figured out the calculation for the four to six years depreciation as well. So what we have understood from here is that 
for the fourth to sixth year we had a segregation of 2600 hours per year we have used the same formula that is original cost minus scrap value multiplied by hours per year upon useful hours now in this specific question the original cost stays as 3 lakh scrap value stays as 20000 which the difference is 2 lakh 80000 that will be multiplied by hours per year for this category which is 2600 hours divided by the useful hours which is 24000 hours so you have a total of 280000 multiplied by 2600 divided by 24000 which gives you that means 2600 divided by 24000 will give you 0.108333 somewhere around in a decimal fraction which will be multiplied by 280000 that gives you total depreciation of 30333.333 into decimal fractions and that is the total depreciation that is calculated for yearly basis between the 4th to 6th year category we have rounded it off to the nearest digit that means 30,333. So if you can see for the 4th or 6th year, we have depreciation as 4th year 30,333, 5th year 30,333 and 6th year 30,333. Accordingly, if you have to calculate the total depreciation that we have done for this specific machine, that will be first 3 years 35,000 plus current year's total depreciation per year which is 30,333. So accordingly you will be able to judge what is the book value of that specific asset as of end of 6th year. So let's figure out the next year's calculation and then we'll mark closure of this sum after we go ahead with the additional depreciation details that we had to provide in this illustration. So if you can see we have figured out the depreciation for year 7th to 10th as well. That means same formula original cost minus scrap value multiplied by hours per year upon useful hours. So 3 lakh minus 20,000 which gives you a total of 2 lakh 80,000 here. This will be multiplied by 1800 that is hours per year category as per this specific section divided by 24,000 which is useful life of that specific machine or useful hours of that specific machine. So the final output that you get here is 2,80,000 multiplied by 0 0.075 which is the decimal factors of 1800 hours upon 24,000 hours. So this will give you a total depreciation of 21,000 per year. So if you can see, 7th year 21,000, 8th year 21,000, 9th year 21,000 and 10th year 21,000. So here we calculate the total depreciation of this specific machine for all these useful hours or all these useful years categorization which was provided to us. Now the total depreciation will be for the first 3 years 35,000 after which 4 to 6 year it will be 30,333 per year make sure all this is per year and from 7 to 10th year it will be 21,000 so this will be the total depreciation that is provided to these specific total assets or the specific machine we can say now the additional details that were asked in this question was what is the depreciation for the fifth year which we already have or which you know the answer for and what is the book value of the machine after the end of the fifth year so that is what we'll be finding and out let's go ahead and figure that out now
we'll just go ahead with the calculation and figure out the additional details question that were required in this illustration. So if you can see we have figured out the calculation here which was required as per the additional details so what we have done is that we have segregated the whole part into six years first second third fourth fifth six our answer lies in the fifth years calculation but to get to the fifth years calculation we have to do the first four years calculation so that's what we have done we have segregated further into cost less depreciation and the book value which will be carried forward to the next year that means this balance which is left in the first year will be the opening balance of next year so the first year we have original cost that means opening balance as 3 lakhs minus the depreciation that was provided here 35,000 which gives you a balance of 2 lakh 65,000 which will be carried forward to the next year so out of 2,65,000 which is carried forward to the next year, you subtract 35,000 depreciation again because per year depreciation for the first three categories or the first three years was 35,000 per year. If you subtract that, you get 2,30,000 for the second year closing balance which will be the opening balance of third year which is transferred there again in the cost part. Now, 2,30,000 which is moved up there out of which 30,000 or 35,000 depreciation will be calculated or subtracted further. Which gives you a total of 1,95,000 which is the depreciation for or rather we can see the depreciated value of the asset as of third year. Now, once that is done, you will be going ahead with the fourth year category. So, 1,95,000 will be moved to the fourth year that is opening balance of fourth year. Out of which 30,333 will be subtracted because from 4th year to 6th year, you have depreciation per year as 30,333. So out of 1,95,000, you will be subtracting now 30,333 instead of 35,000. Which gives you a total of 1,64,667 which will be moved to the 5th year opening balance. And out of that, you will subtract 30,333 from there. And the total that you get is 1,34,334. That means this is the balance of that specific machine as of end of fifth year and the opening balance of sixth year. So, as per the question stated that, find out the depreciation for the fifth year, which is 30,333. And what is the book value of that specific machine at the end of fifth year, which is 1,34,334. So, I hope this illustration gives you a lot of details about how to solve this question whenever a machine R rate depreciation method is supposed to be provided. So, thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ekeda and keep subscribing to Ekeda.